Dave, for this next session, I understand that um, in Buddhist thought, there are three aspects to a person, and they call it, or Buddhists call it, um, three poisons. Can you explain that, please? Yes, yeah, sure. Um, it's worth saying that actually Buddhists think that there are lots of aspects to a person. In fact, Buddhism is largely interested in its more philosophical modes in psychological phenomena, in what people have in their mind, um, as evidenced by their interest in meditation, and therefore changing what you have in your mind. But yet, yeah, most of us do have these things referred to as either three poisons or three fires, greed, hatred, delusion. And I'll come to each one and say much more about each one in a separate video. Uh, but I thought, just to comment on the title, yeah. um, poisons, they're, people, they're parts of us that condemn us to experiencing the world as suffering, as dukkha. Um, so they lead us to live lives that are not good. So they're always seen as negative. So they're not seen as something like some other features of human characteristics and psychology, which can be good and can be bad. Uh, greed, hidden and delusion, hence being called poisons, are not good. Are you sure? yeah. yes. <laughs> and they can't sometimes be good. Now, that doesn't mean there are other forms of desire that might okay. be more morally neutral, and affected by their object and the way they're done. But greed, hedge and delusions will seem uh, problematic. As I also said, they're sometimes called the fires. And this is um, more interesting than it might sound. Um, because in Hinduism, fire is a positive symbol. You have a sacrificial fire. You have the fire of the householder. You know, fire has um, various um, Vedic and Upanishadic uses particularly. Um, and then it goes on throughout history of Hinduism, that are good. It's a good, positive mm. thing. Um, and it was, was noted in the book How Buddhism Began, a nice little book by Richard Gombrich, who was then the professor of Sanskrit at Oxford University. He notes how it was missed in much of Buddhist history, but how actually early Buddhism seems to quite often parody or ah. um, provide a kind of an alternative to what's in Hinduism. So while, while they use... Um, fire as a positive image, the Buddhist thought tends to use fire as a negative image. Be that in the three fires, be that in the fire sermon that T.S. Eliot makes famous in the wasteland, um, as some people doing English lit will remember. Um, I remember my Elvon English lit like it won't go away if I <laughs> T.S. Eliot. Um, and also the word for nirvana is seen as a word for extinction, the putting out of a fire. So the three poisons and fires of greed, hatred and delusion are seen as aspects of a person to be got rid of, to put out. So we need to find our greed, our hatred and our delusion. And in order to be happy, in order to avoid causing suffering for others and for ourselves, we need to get rid of them. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks.